Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we'll be walking you through how to create your own robot from scratch using the Raspberry Pi Pico W and some simple components. Now, this is a beginner-friendly course where we walk you through end-to-end -end how to create a remote control wheeled robot with obstacle avoidance. We'll be walking you through the code and the physical setup in this tutorial series and even getting started with the Raspberry Pi Pico W from the beginning if you've never used it before. By the end of it, you will have an awesome robot you can control, improve, and customized, giving you a great foundation to robotics with the Raspberry Pi. It's going to be an incredibly fun and rewarding course, so I hope you stick with me all the way through. In this course, we'll be going over several topics. First, we'll be getting started with the Raspberry Pi Pico W and writing your first program that is in this video. Followed by that, we'll be going over a hardware components overview and physical assembly. Then we will talk about basic motor control and tuning in MicroPython. Then we'll write a program for simple obstacle detection with a common ultrasonic module. And finally, we will put it all together and create a program that spins up an interface we can interact with remotely from any machine on our local network, that is our laptop or phone, as long as it's connected to the same Wi-Fi as the Raspberry Pi Pico W. Okay, so first let's get started with our Raspberry Pi Pico W and write our first program. Before we do, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more amazing DIY content. Many more interesting robotics courses to come in the remainder of the year, so hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on that content if you want to learn more awesome things about robots and sensors. That being said, let's hop in and write our first program on Raspberry Pi Pico W using Thani and MicroPython. Okay, so to get started writing our first program on the Raspberry Pi Pico W, we simply just want to go to our browser, type in thani.org, and we just want to download the Thani Python IDE for beginners. This is probably the most Python or the most popular IDE to program with the Raspberry Pi Pico W. So you could just go here, download the version for your operating system. We could just go ahead. I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to download it for a Mac. And then you could just go click the package and just step through the, the steps to get Thani on your computer. Okay, so now that you have Thani downloaded, you can just go ahead and open it. You see my program is already opened. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take your Raspberry Pi Pico W. You see mine is already pre-soldered. So I recommend you just buy these pre-soldered if you are a beginner because soldering can be kind of tedious. So I have a pre-soldered Pico W or you can solder it. Soldered means it just has all of the pins on it here. And these pins allow you to attach peripherals, which we will need today to work with this device with our robot. So I have my Raspberry Pi Pico W here. Now you just want to go ahead and hold this button. This is the boot cell button and that will allow you to flash MicroPython on the device. So you want to hold it and at the same time you are holding it, you want to plug it into your computer. So you can see I'm holding the boot cell button, I plug it in and then once it's like that, once it's plugged in, you should you should see the option on the bottom right to install MicroPython. We can go ahead and click that. It finds our target volume, and then we could just go ahead and install the version we like. Now, I have the Pico W. At the time of this tutorial, there is the Pico 2W. It's pretty much the same thing. So I'm just going to do Pico W variant, and we are just going to install and just give that a moment to finish installing. Okay, so now that it's done installing, you can go ahead and unplug and plug the device again. Go back to Thani. Bottom right, you should see the device, and it has MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico, so that is correct. We can go ahead and select that, and we're just going to write a simple program. So you can go ahead and create your program for the first time. Go to the left here, go to New File, and name the program BlinkLED.Py. I already made the program, so I'm just going to open it here just to save some time. And in this program, incredibly simple, it's just going to turn on and off the onboard LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico. W. So it's going to use the machine library. So this is a library to interact with GPIO pins, which allow us to do some actions on sensors and that sorts of thing. And then we have time. So time is just to measure time. So we're going to turn it on and off every second. And we set the LED. So pin LED pin out. So this is the onboard LED pin. So MicroPython knows that this is the onboard LED pin on the Raspberry Pi Pico W. And so we're going to be sending a signal out and we are just going to run this while loop. So as long as this program runs, this LED will turn on and off. So let's go ahead, make sure you just copy this code in, write it, do whatever you like, have a program, and let's just go ahead and run the current script. Now you can see that the onboard LED is on or turning on and off with your with your Raspberry Pi Pico W. So congrats, you just wrote your first program with the Raspberry Pi Pico W in MicroPython. So that sums it up for the intro to the robotics course with the Raspberry Pi Pico W. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got your program working. Meet me in the next segment where we get more involved and we start assembling our robot and also talking about the components we'll be using to build today's robot at a high level. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next segment.